Hello. In this screencast, we're going to animate a menu on an existing web page. We will start with the Surf School starter template. We'll give it a name and save it to the desktop. This template has no workflow at all, so we'll add one using the Site Manager. To use Lucid effectively, we need to open a HTML page to work with. We also need to activate the workflow that we just created. We've created the workflow, but it isn't linked to the HTML page in any way. Pressing the Setup Web Page for Workflow button will correct this problem. We want to activate the menu when the user clicks the Lessons button, so let's add a click event. We can now drag a connection from the event to the Lessons button. In preview mode, we can see the event working, but it's not connected to anything. We have a working event, so now we need to add an action. We will connect the click event to the animate action by simply dragging a connection from the event to the action. To connect an action to an element on the web page, we must drag a connection from the little circle on the right side of the action to the element we want to affect. No, we have an animate action and it's all hooked up, but we do need to tell the action what properties to animate. Now, in preview mode, when we click the lessons button, we can see both the click event and the animate action wiggle in the workflow view. And of course, the lessons menu is faded away as the opacity property was animated to zero. We can refresh the page with command R to try this effect again and again. We can make changes to the animate action by simply double clicking it. All actions can be edited in this way. We will copy and paste this action to use it as a starting point for our next action. We can already fade the menu away, so this action will fade it back in. Now we need an if block action to determine whether to fade the menu in or fade it out. We are going to drag a connection from the click event to the if block. This will remove the connection from the original animate action and set it to the if block. The statement in the if block examines the element on the web page. If it's faded in, it'll fade it out, and if it's faded out, it'll fade it back in, like a toggle. You may wish to pause the screencast here so you can copy the code exactly. In preview mode, we can see the if block acting as a toggle, and the path that the workflow takes is clearly animated in the workflow view. Of course, in a normal website, you'd want the menu hidden when the user first loads the page. We will use Flux to make this change, but you can use any good HTML editor.
we can see Lucid has automatically reloaded the page and the menu is now hidden by default. The workflow is now complete.